What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. Yo, guys, we got another vid today. Um, thank you for the support. We got a giveaway winner. I do not know who it is. I actually will drop it in the comments. So just wait on that. It will be in my comments. It will be pinned. And um, thank you for the support, yo. We have hit a hundred likes in two hours into the video. So thank you. So guys. Let's get this one to 100 likes again, and it is Market Talk Tuesday. Every Tuesday, you know how we do. So 100 likes, drop a comment, like the vid. Some of you are new. Don't say 10K OG. Just drop a question, uh, how you doing bugs today, whatever you want to drop, bro. Um, I just like, I don't know. The OG 10Ks doesn't look too official. I mean, guys, I guess it does, but like, I'd rather see questions. So yeah, Market Talk Tuesday. This is, I think, the sixth episode this is just a series where we talk about the market, what's going to go down, how to invest, like pretty much everything about the market. You know, I always talk about the market almost every single day. So, all right, let's get into it. So there's a lot of problems with the market right now. And I'm honestly kind of upset on what's going on with the market. Um, it's super upsetting in my opinion. So this is what happens let's look at the market we got all these players are just insanely overpriced and it's honestly really sad like why would you ever want to buy any of these cards for this price in my opinion i think it's just complete bs and i don't i don't think it's good like okay for instance this vlad jr went up 30k don't this is what i recommend if you want to buy diamonds like if you're in need of diamonds if like make sure you do not buy now if you don't know how to place a sell now i would go like this i would go create buy order and place a sell now like this and then once you do that it would place right here so just if nobody knows how to do that that's how you do it literally i'm just gonna be honest with you guys if you're buying diamonds do not buy big boy diamonds if you're trying to save stubs buy diamonds with a big buy now sell now just to be safe because if you're investing in diamonds and like, let's say I buy 97K Verlander and this guy McCovey, the chances of me losing stubs are literally like 100% because these prices are erratic right now with the stub sale and you do not want to buy any of these cards. And not only that, they're, they're just too expensive. Like if you guys remember, these cards were 80K last week. Now they're at 93, 100K. So what I recommend is just stay away. As you can see, I am broke in stubs, but we got big boy orders right here. We bought a lot of players for the stream tonight. Be sure to pull up on the stream later tonight. Uh, we will be balling on stream. We're going to be hitting dingers. We're going to be winning games, getting to the divisional round and ranked seasons. But yeah, so all I really recommend you to do, let's look at the gold. I have not checked any gold prices. I'm coming into this blind. This is all new to me. So what I'm noticing is also... Player of the month golds. I would just hold on to them. They're cheap. Do not do not get impatient and sell them. I think I have like three or four of these. I have three Gelitos. Guys, if you want to pick up more, I suggest it. I do not think they will go down ever, even more. I, I really think it's impossible, to be honest. So, yeah. That's what you want to do. Um, Investment-wise. So, investments. Let me check their prices. Let's check Okuna. Let's check all the studs. Let's let's let me just look at Okuna. I want to see Okuna's price. Okuna's doing very good this week. He could go diamond. Okay, Okuna's price is up. Let's check. Uh, let's just check Rizzo, Chapman. Um, hmm, let's see. So Chapman's at five still. Let's see. Where is my boy Rizzo? Springer's at eight. Hmm. Rizzo's at seven. Okay, Rizzo rose a little bit. Chapman did not. Let's see. Uh, we got Trey Turner to not rise. Okay. This is a player I would literally just say invest now. It's Trey Turner. He's one of the best shortstops in the league. I don't even have enough stubs to invest in him. That is so shy. I have six of them. Good investment right here. Okay. So this is what I think. I'm going to have a roster update predictions tomorrow. Ronald Okuna. Um, I think, I really think Okuna goes diamond this week. He's doing pretty good this week. If he can keep it up, it's going to be sick because if Okuna goes diamond, he's going to be an 85 overall diamond that is so usable across the game. And do I think his price goes to 8? No, I think his price goes to 10 or 12 because this guy has so much potential to go up to like an 87, 88 diamond. So if you guys are watching this video, 
I would just go ahead and invest while he's five uh, 5300 stubs and I will be like talking about him pretty much the whole week because I think this guy right here has a really good chance of going diamond um that's out of all these cards I would say yeah definitely him he should go diamond um yeah 6k so yeah okay so golds are not that expensive they're actually pretty cheap so this might be the time to invest story also might go diamond if you guys i have 20 if you guys have 3800 stubs at least pick up two or three um you have to man you need to get this store on your team and also another really good investment xander bogarts he has been unbelievable and i did not realize that so those are my top three investments for the week um i really really recommend you do it but we're gonna get into more investments in a, the video later today we're gonna have a best investments video the top 10 investments so yeah but those are pretty good investments we got kirby 8 to 29 not bad so right now i would just go ahead and invest in players these gold player of the month to me look like very very good cards to invest in um they're pretty freaking cheap and Think about it, if everybody did the moments by now, which probably about 70% of the people in the game that grind did, so those are gone, the packs are gone, in about a week or two, these these cards should be pretty expensive, like, they're out of the game forever, uh, like, I don't see them going up, I, I don't see them going down, I really don't, um, let's look at some silver cards though, okay, so Murphy went gold, I mean, went silver, and that is stupid, you know why it's stupid? Because Murphy is hitting like 400 over the last week. And this could be something schemey. But I'm not going to get into that. I would invest in him. I'm going to talk about investments in the next video. But yeah, this is Market Talk Tuesday. Um, silvers are actually pretty... Mm. Okay, so what, I know, what I'm noticing here is a lot of the 79s are expensive. At least all the ones that people think are going to go gold. Like Moustakis has a good chance of going gold. Peacock does. Abreu has a good chance, or Dozy has a good chance. He's already at 1,100 stubs. One person that caught my eye is Daniel Murphy. He's at 500 buy now, 305 sell. That is interesting because Murphy's on fire right now. He's back in action, and if he goes gold again, we're gonna have we're gonna you could literally make 600 stubs off each. Like that is a very good profit. You guys have like. 20 no if you have like 5,000 stubs i'll go and invest in him he's a 79 he's playing really good right now and we've seen people go back gold and diamond very good card um so realistically right now the investments are overall cheap besides the 79s if you guys know 78 overalls that you think are going to be really good to uh invest in i would go ahead and invest because honestly um they're pretty freaking cheap man um Chris Paddock's 485 stubs. It's Chris Paddock. He pitches gems. He's gotten a little, a little bit up over a little bit, but like, what happens if he pitches a complete game shutout today or tomorrow, whatever, whenever he starts? What happens if he does something good? This guy, literally, I, I think he goes gold. Good investments. There's good investments across the board. Um, realistically, um, let me see. Let's see bronzes. Devers is silver. This is a good player to pick up. He's a top 10 player right now, stats-wise, like, hitting-wise. And I'm not kidding. You can look up the stats. He's playing amazing. This month, he just tore it apart, man. We got Murphy for 305. That's huge. Um, So, the bronzes are really cheap. If you want to invest in some bronzes for 74 overall, like 100 stubs, I would go ahead and do it as well. This is pretty much the time to invest, but stay away from diamonds. Everything else is pretty cheap besides diamonds. Diamonds could be the death of all of us. I already lost a ton of stubs off freaking the player of the month cards. I'm just praying they go back up. And I want to check some diamond player of the month cards. Woodruff's at 50k. Like, that is bad. Like, we all lost a ton of stubs. I am sorry, guys. That's a that's honestly not even on me. It's just we got we got played, bro. We all thought we were gonna make mad stubs. We got played. Um to be honest, all these cards, they, they have to go up. There's no way they stay at this price. Just wait on these cards. Market talk to I have I just wait on the cards. It's too early. Don't get impatient. Believe me, stay on these cards. Wait a little bit. And honestly, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you guys for showing me the support. We're about to hit 1.1k. Thank you for the support. Be sure to comment and like. Let's hit 100 likes again on this vid. And that's all I got. Peace.